All right, for our last video in this journal set, we're gonna talk about transformations of logs. So here's a visual representation of shifting uh, left and right. So our horizontal shifts, as you can see, we are inside parameters. This is a value that's moving the variable itself. Okay, and then here we are shifting up and down outside of parameters. Here we have uh, vertical compression and stretching, and that's where your um, coefficient is right in front of the log. And if we're doing horizontal, there we go, horizontal, it would be, well, maybe I don't have an image for that. Okay, well, horizontal would be your um, coefficient is right in front of the variable. Reflection is negative. Uh, and positive. So if I am negative and positive outside of the log, then I'm reflecting about the x-axis. If I am negative and positive inside parameters next to the variable itself, then I'm reflecting across the y-axis. And because that was, mm, it was okay. I like the images, but personally, this is, you know, to me, this is a little bit more concise. So I have rewritten it all the same exact way for you guys. And again, I say pause, copy this down because the more you actually write it, the more you are actually um, encoding in your brain and you're working towards that memorization. And as you can see, is there really that much of a difference between the exponent transformation and the log transformations? Hopefully your answer is not because they are inverses. They really should match. So I'm not even going to go into these because we did this with exponents. So I'm just going to give you an opportunity to try for yourself. There is a second set of questions afterwards that are real world problems. I just say attempt them to the best of your ability. Um, um, you just, you're really just trying. And of course, you can use a calculator on those questions. But thank you so much for this week's journal. And I'll see you in class uh, for all of our fun activities.